Hi, in this video I will show you how to configure direct invert system access with CLI authentication multiple calls in Eternity, P, G and ME. Direct invert system access is commonly known as DISA. It allows extension users of Eternity to access features and facilities of their extension from a remote location. This is possible using the trunks on which DISA feature is enabled. Eternity offers three variants of DISA. Each has specific method of authentication and level of access. They are DISA with CLI authentication multiple calls, DISA with CLI authentication one call, and DISA with PIN authentication multiple calls. Out of these three DISA variants, let us see the configuration of DISA with CLI authentication multiple calls. If DISA with CLI authentication multiple calls is enabled on a trunk of eternity, when a user calls on it, the system authenticates him by matching his CLI with the entries of the DISA CLI authentication table. On successful authentication, the system allows him to auto-login into his extension. On login, the system gives the internal dial tone and waits for the caller to dial the desired digits. This way, a user can access the features and facilities of his extension from a remote location. Using DISA with CLI authentication multiple calls from a remote location, a user can call other extensions, make external calls, use features of Eternity, configure Eternity and administer it. To better understand the application of this feature, let us consider this scenario. Suppose I have Eternity G installed at my office. Further, let us assume that one of the digital key phone that is DKP user has gone out and he wants to access features and facilities of his extension from the remote location. Say his DKP extension is 3001 and its port number is 1. We need to enable DISA CLI authentication multiple calls on one of the trunks, say CO trunk 1. The configuration involves two steps. Enable DISA CLI authentication multiple calls in the trunk feature template of the DISA login trunk. Configure the DISA CLI authentication table. Let us start with the first step. Log in to Eternity as System Engineer. On the left menu pane, under the Configuration menu, click CO Configuration. In CO Configuration, select CO Parameters. Here, the Trunk Feature Template assigned to CO Trunk 1 is 1. Now, click on the Trunk Feature Template link. Here, for Template 1, under the Options of DISA, select CLI Authentication Multiple Calls for all three time zones, namely Working Hours, Break Hours and Non-Working Hours. Then, submit the page. We have completed the first step. Now let us see the second step of configuring the DISA CLI authentication table. On the left menu pane, click on DISA CLI authentication. Now, under the option of calling party's number, enter the user's number. Next, under the options of auto login as, we need to program the user's extension type and port number. As extension 3001 is a DKP, select the port type as DKP and configure the port number as 1. Finally, submit the page. Thus, we are done with all the steps. Now, let us see how this feature works. When the user calls CO trunk 1, the system compares the CLI received with the number programmed in the CLI authentication table. If the user's CLI matches, he successfully logs into DISA mode and gets 
the internal dial tone. Thus, he gets access to all the features and facilities as assigned to his DKP extension 1. Now, he can dial the desired digits, maybe an extension number or trunk access code followed by an external number. After completion of a call, to go on hook, he needs to dial the code hash zero. Same way, to make another call, he needs to go off hook and then follow the same procedure. Various codes to use during DSA session are like this. To go on hook, enter hash zero. To go off hook, enter hash one. For flash, enter hash 2. To terminate DISA, enter hash 9. Thus, we have seen the configuration and working of DISA with CLI authentication multiple calls. Thanks for watching this video. I'm sure that this will be useful to you. If you need any more help, please contact Matrix Technical Support.